Good evening, everyone. Good Hello, evening. Jeff. Hello, Jorge. So, welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona. How are you today, guys? All good? So good. Really, really good. All right. Fantastic. Yanira, how are you today? Can you hear us? All right. So, perhaps Yanira can hear us right now. So, Jorge and Janira, do you have any question about yesterday's topic? Mm, yes, but uh, it's normally the only question. All right, very good. Go ahead. Tell me, what are your questions? Uh, about the... Uh, uh, I study uh, the session for and since and another one, the simple present. Mm -hmm. uh, my problem is when I use the verb in past participle or in but in past. But I study the the list of verb mm -hmm. in regular or in regular. Okay. So your problem is knowing when to use the past and the past participle. Yes, a little, but uh, but uh, my problem with uh, is uh, when I use uh, I be or had. Mm, give me an example so I can help you. Uh, for example, is a uh, had you ever or had you uh, some uh, last week or? Mm, okay. More Don't less. worry. Don't worry, Jorge. Your questions are going to be answered today. Okay. All right, we're gonna have those answers. Hello, Jesenia. Thank you for logging in. All righty. So. Hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> All right. So, as you have questions, Jorge, there is a difference between simple past and present perfect. And we're gonna cover that today. Okay. All right. Now, just give me a second. Let me get ready here. And I'll go ahead and share the screen with you. One moment, please. All right, just one, one second. All right, so here it is. Let's get down to business and repeat with me. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. 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 Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Lesson objective. Here, vamos a hacer, vamos a topar los tabis con el up. 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 Object. Objective. Y lo dejamos Object. abierto. Objective. Objective. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, esto es muy, muy, muy común. Estoy viendo que ahorita estamos, en vez de la C, estamos ocupando eh, la articulación de la letra P. Y esto, créanme, que es sumamente normal. Sin embargo, sí tenemos que practicarlo un poquito y enfocarnos un poco en los fonemas. All right? Les voy a estar compartiendo un playlist. Solo déjenme buscarlo que es de un canal de YouTube, Hello Geo, es de un canal de YouTube llamado Rachel's English. No es anuncio, sino que sí, de verdad les puede servir. Y ella les enseña cómo articular y mejora pronunciación increíblemente. All right. So, vamos a decir acá la última, las últimas veces. Ob. 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 Object. Jack. Jack. Tip. Tip. Ajá. Ob. Ob. Jack. Tip. Object. Objective. Objective. Ajá. A veces se nos pega la P. En vez de object, decimos object. 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 Mm -hmm. Ob object. Object. Objective. Objective. Mm -hmm. Objective. Very good. So, recommendation for pronunciation, guys. Do it slow. Ok. Háganlo despacio para que sepan. Cómo están articulando, extiendan los sonidos 
Y una vez ustedes ya tengan una noción de, de cómo estamos articulando, ahí sí empezamos a hacerlo más, cada vez, cada vez más veloz. All right? So, let's do it one more time. In this session, in this, in this session, session, a conversation will be listened to a conversation, a conversation will be listened to, listen to, to, listen to, to you in order, 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 in order to practice to practice the present perfect and simple past. In order, in order, order to practice, practice the present the perfect, 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 perfect and simple past. All right, very good. I need a volunteer to read, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, Nico, go ahead. Go ahead. Or me, teacher. In this session, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Very good. Good job, Jorge. Excellent job. The only one that we will fix is conversation. 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 Mm -hmm. Other than that, good job. Parte de eso, muy buen trabajo. So, en esta clase se escuchará una conversación donde se practicará el presente perfecto y pasado simple. Lo cual es su pregunta, Jorge. Hoy lo vamos a solucionar, all right? Okay. So, let's continue. Let me know if you can hear the audio. Because I shared with audio. All right, there we go. Can you hear? More or less. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. No se escucha, teacher. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? It's just one. Teacher, no se escucha. So you can't hear the conversation? No. No. <laughs> All right. Thank you for letting me know. If at any point you can't hear me, let me know. Right at the start. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen, listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. All right, so let's go ahead and practice our pronunciation a little bit. Are you ready, guys? Sorry. Yes, you are. No, we are. All right, yeah. All right, yes, are yes. you ready? <laughs> All right, so yes, are. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry, late. I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you I'm been here long? Have you been here long? Have you been here long? Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. No, only no, for no, a few only minutes. For a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Only for a few. We link it there. Only for a few. Only for a few. Only for a few minutes. Only for a few. Only for a few minutes. Only for a few. Very good. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Have you chosen, chosen a restaurant, you chosen yet? A restaurant yet? yet? I can't decide. Have you ever I, eaten Moroccan food? I can't decide. I can't decide. I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Moroccan food. 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 
food. If it sounds like food, estamos diciendo pie. Me gusta la comida de pie. Food. 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 No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Is it good? No, I haven't. Is it good? No, I haven't. Good? No, I haven't. It sounds good. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's, it's delicious. 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 I've had it several times. I have. I have had, had it several times. It several times. Mm -hmm. I've had. I've had. Let's go ahead and check this one. I've had I've it. Had it. I had I it. Had it. Ah, that's the contraction. I had it. I had it. I had it. Siempre que vean el apóstrofe con la B. I be. Ajá. I have. Vamos a decir I've. I've. Eso sí. Asegurémonos de topar los labios. I've. Topar los los dientes superiores o los pares superiores con el labio inferior. I've. 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 I had it. 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 Have you, have you ever, ever had, 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 green green green? had the green curry? curry? Actually, I have. Actually, Actually I, I, have. Have. I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I, I live in Thailand, Thailand as, as a teenager. 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 Here, ending sound, I lived. I, I lived. lived. I lived. I lived. I lived. I lived. Now, with this one, guys, we're going to pay attention because we're going to say, I lived in. We're gonna link it. Lived in. I, I lived in. in. I lived in. Lived in. I lived in. Lived in. Lived in Thailand as a teenager. Lived in Thailand as a teenager. Lived in Thailand as a teenager. Teenager. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. A lot there. Ate it. Ate it. Ate it. Ate it. Ate it. A lot there. A lot there. I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know, know that. 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 How long did you live there? How long, How long did you did live there? Live there? Yeah. I lived there for two years. I lived, I lived there, there two years. 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 For two years. Years. For two years. years. For, two years. years. for two years. Very good. Year. All right. So who can tell me what is the meaning of I'm sorry, I'm late? Have you, have you been here long? Has estado mucho tiempo. Has estado mucho tiempo. Very good. No, only for a few minutes. Solo unos pocos minutos. No, me acabo de llegar. Mutualito. Right. So in this one, no, only for a few minutes. No, solo un par de minutos. All right. No, no le agregamos mutualito o de endio. Porque de no van ahí. <laughs> Next one. Actualito. Actualito. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? ¿Ya elegiste un restaurante? ¿Ya elegiste restaurante? Mm, okay, very good. Ahí vamos. Escucha al fondo. Ya elegiste. Y esto es una muy, muy buena oportunidad para mencionar lo siguiente. Siempre, siempre, siempre que ocupemos el present perfect, vamos a ocupar el verbo en el tercero de la lista. All right? Por ejemplo, no es elegiste, elegido. No es, es comido. All right? No es bailar, es bailado. Entonces, siempre que veamos el... el es elegido. Ajá, exacto. ¿Has ele ¿Ya has elegido el restaurante? Acordemos que tenemos el yet. Uh -huh. Y el yet se ocupa uh -huh. al final. All right? So, esa va a ser una de las diferencias. That's one of the differences we have, that in present perfect, we're going to use the past participle. All right? Next one, let's continue. I can't decide. No me puedo decidir. No he decidido. No puedo decidir. No puedo decidir. Mm -hmm. No puedo decidir. 
Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Ya has comido has comida de Marruecos. 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 Bien, en esta vamos a tener Have you ever eaten alguna vez. Cuando ¿Alguna tenemos vez el Have you comido? ever, sería él ¿Alguna, alguna vez. ¿Alguna vez has comido comida? Marroquí. Marroquí. ¿Así se dice marroquí? Marroquí. Yes. Marroquí. Okay. Very good. Thank you. I didn't no know. son macarrones, no que marroquí. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> okay. Now, how do you say alguna vez as? Have you ever? ever, 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 ever. You ever. Have you ever? Very good. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, 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 no lo he hecho. No, 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 no lo he hecho. Is it good? Es buena. Es buena. Okay. Bueno. It's delicious. Delicious. It's delicious. Mm, yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm, exactly. I've had it several times. I, I had I, 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 bastante yeah. veces. Perdón? I'm sorry? La he probado bastante veces. Ajá. Ya la he probado o ya la he comido mm -hmm. bastantes veces. Bastante. ¿Cómo se dice bastante? How do you say bastante? Several. 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 So Very good. Times. Now, in this one, the pronunciation is not seve, several. It will be several. 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 Most of the words, several. three. Several. Guys, most of the words with three or more syllables and that has the stress, that have the stress on the first syllable, we don't say the second one. So we don't say, that's why we don't say several, we say several. 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 Very good. Several. Or how about Thai food? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Thai tea. Have you ever had green curry? Yeah, Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exacto. ¿Alguna vez has probado el curry verde? Probado. Uh -huh. Next one. Actually, I have. Actually. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What is the meaning of actually? ¿Alguna vez? Mm. No, como actualmente. O sea, sí. realmente, ¿no? Como realmente. realmente. No, como de hecho. De hecho. De hecho, exacto. De hecho. Uh -huh. It's going de to be hecho. more like de hecho. De hecho. de hecho, sí. Actually, I have. Actually, I have. De hecho, sí. De hecho, All right. sí. So, I lived in Thailand as a teenager. Yo viví en Tailandia. De hecho, Tailandia sí. cuando era... Yo viví en Tailandia de cuando era adolescente. Adolescente, exacto. I ate it a lot there. Lo comí bastante, comí mucho eso, etc. All right. I didn't know that. No sé. No sé. Sí, sí. no sé. How long did you live there? ¿Cuánto tiempo, ¿Cuánto viviste, tiempo viviste, tiempo viviste ahí? There you go. I lived there for two years. He vivido He viví por, por dos años. años. Viví. Dos años. Viví. 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 Exactly. Viví. Viví como dos años. Okay, very good. So, let's go ahead and pay attention to someone, guys. What do you think is the difference between present perfect? Well, when do we use present perfect? Cuando estoy hablando de una acción que fue en el pasado, pero estoy hablando en el momento. Almost. Que no está definida. O sea, una acción no definida del pasado. Exactly, una acción no definida. Jorge estuvo bien, Yesenia, thank you very much. <clears throat> so, pretty much we use present perfect guys to talk about a situation that happened in the past or started in the past and it may and may not continue in the present. Okay? So, pretty much experience is non defined. And pay attention to this. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. I lived there for two years. ¿Cuál creen que es la diferencia entre simple past and uh, the past perfect? The present perfect, I'm sorry. The time. The time, correct. It is the time. Now, if you notice, in simple past, 
we only talk about one situation and we can actually use time expressions. That's exactly what we're going to see here, guys. So, les voy, a, les voy a compartir lo siguiente. Eso exactamente que me acaban de decir es la raíz de los dos tenses. So, let's read. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. In this, in this lesson, participants will learn when to use perfect Very good. I need a volunteer. Xiomara, thank you. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> and this lesson, <laughs> and this lesson, participants will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. Okay. Thank you very much. Well done, girl. En esta clase aprenderemos a saber cuándo, que está mal, un lado, cuándo usamos el presente perfecto versus el pasado simple. So, let's go ahead and watch this real quick. So let me stop the share and do it again so you can hear it. There we go. Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we are about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. It's loading. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. All right, guys, question. When do we use present perfect? And in English, how do you say that? For an indefinite use the present time. perfect for, for an indefinite time in the past. In the past. Exactly, for an indefinite time in the past. Very good. And when do we use simple past? For a specific event in the past. Specific event in the past. All right, let's continue. Event in the past. Ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. All right. So, guys, this is uh, quite simple. I'm not saying it is not difficult, but it is quite simple on the thing that it doesn't have a lot of rules. No tiene tanta regla, no tiene tanto, um, tanta interpretación, all right? So, normally we're gonna use the present perfect in order for us to talk about the experience, and then we are going to use simple past, all right? We're gonna be using the simple past to talk about when. So, for example, como me preguntarían, Si ya he comido fritada. Have you ever tried? Have you ever eaten fritada? Have you ever eaten fritada? Okay. Yeah, fritada. And how do I answer? In affirmative, short answer. Yes, I, yes, have. I have. have. Yes, I have. Correct. And I'm talking about my experience, but if I want to tell you when, si les quiero decir cuándo. I didn't. When when you when do you ever when you ever eating? No, how to? There we go. Ahí está el detalle, guys. Si ustedes quieren hablar acerca de su experiencia, if you want to talk about the experience, you use the you present perfect. But you don't say when. No dicen cuando. If you want to get more details and you want to talk about one specific situation, then we can use the simple past. All right. So. For example, if you ask me, have you ever eaten fritada? I can tell you, yes, I have. I ate fritada, let me see, one month ago. All right? So, si se fijan, les contesté la experiencia con present perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Y luego agregué la información de cuando y dije, I ate fritada one month ago. That's a nice. Mm -hmm. So there we mix it. 
Okay. Uh, let me see. And so the, the question uh, the question uh, is uh, have you ever it have you ever eaten frita mm -hmm. pero para contestarla en o sea en en la otra forma para no hacerla en presente perfecto cómo tendría que haber sido have you ever eaten fritada good question Good question, Yesenia. Normally, in this one, we are going to use the same tense to answer. Mm -hmm. Si nos preguntan en present perfect, contestamos en present perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Ya luego, si ustedes quieren agregar más información, ahí es donde viene el simple past. Okay? So, let's give it a try. Jorge, can you hear me? Lemus? Yes. Jorge Lemus? Yes. All right, Jorge. Um, ¿Alguna vez ha ido a la feria? A la feria, la de agosto. Yes. Yes, I have. Ahí está, yes, I have. O dígamelo en español, que quiero probar un punto. ¿Alguna vez ha ido a la feria? Sí, he ido. Ahí está. Sí, he ido. Present sí, perfect. He ido. Me contesta de la misma manera que le pregunta. Y si yo le pregunto cuándo. Eh, fui, fui en agosto exacto, me dijo que el tiempo ocupó pasado, fui en agosto fui. so, mm -hmm. these guys is the same as in Spanish if someone asks us in, in present perfect, we answer in present perfect, and if we want to get more information, we can use simple past mm -hmm. okay? ok thank you Jorge, estamos con eso Yes. 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 Ok, very good. Y en los verbos regulares, uh, si ustedes me, pregun me pueden preguntar, por ejemplo, ¿cómo sé cuándo va a ser cociné y cocinado? ¿Can anybody tell me that? Cociné. Uh -huh. Uh, have you ever cook? No, cook. Uh -huh. Cook. There you go. Si se fijan, es el mismo verbo. It is the same verb. But one, it will be in this structure. Have you ever cooked? Cook. Cocinado. And you can say here, in this one, I cooked, etc. Cociné. All right. So I got something for you here. Can you see right here? Yes. So let's work with this one. Have you ever appreciated the sunset? Read it with me, please. Have you, have have you, you ever, ever appreciated a sunset? What is the meaning of sunset? Atardecer. Atardecer. There you go. So if I ask you, have you ever appreciated the sunset? You can answer, yes, I have, or yes, I no, have. I haven't, right? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, yes. In and the traffic. In the traffic. Repeat, appreciate, <laughs> appreciate, repeat. Appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Guys, give me a second. Let me decir lo. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right, Appreciate it. So in this case, you're gonna answer yes, I have. I have. I have. I have. If it is affirmative, you can say when. Okay. I appreciated the sunset um, last week because I went to El Tunco Beach and I slept there. All right. So you look at the. Contestamos la pregunta con present perfect y si queremos dar más información, ahí ocupamos pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque en present perfect contestamos acerca de nuestra experiencia y el simple past lo ocupamos acerca de una experiencia en particular. Do you have any questions with this, guys? Speak now or be quiet forever. I'm going to open the break rooms right now. Ok, cuando se me quedan callados significa que tienen muchas preguntas.
<risa> guys, don't be afraid. No tengan pena, guys. Pregunten, ¿ok? Pregunten todo lo que tengan que preguntar, que para eso estoy aquí para ayudarles. ¿Estamos? All right. I need a volunteer. Necesito un voluntario, pero de verdad. Para hoy. For today. Uh -huh. Me. All right, Yesenia, thank you very much. Yesenia, have you ever been on TV? Yes, I have. Oh, really? When? Uh, I, I saw, I saw TV a few minutes. Oh, okay, very good. But in this one, have you ever seen? Alguna vez? Has estado en ah, televisión, ha salido en TV. Ah, 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 I saw. Okay, okay, okay. No. Blanco para todos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, very good. Ahí no hay mucho que decir. If it's negative, you cannot talk in past. No podemos hablar en pasado porque no hay nada que decir. All right. So, I can. No, I haven't. Y yeah. ustedes yeah. pueden entenderse si quieren, pero me gustaría. How do you say, pero me gustaría? Okay. I, I like. like I, I would uh, like to. I would like, I will to. like to. Mm -hmm. Or, ya se pueden pasar a simple present. Have you ever been on TV? No, I haven't. I don't like to because I am a shy person. No me gusta porque soy una persona tímida. Mm -hmm. So, moraleja, contesten como les pregunten. Y luego ustedes se pueden extender en cualquier tense, dependiendo de lo que quieran decir. All right? So, mm -hmm. All right. último ejercicio. Another volunteer, please. Me. Sí. All right. Who said that? Ronnie? Yes. All right. There we go. Ronnie, have you ever broken a bone? Ya se ha no, quebrado. I haven't. ¿Ya se ha quebrado un hueso? No, I haven't. Ah, ok. Very good. Good answer. No. All right. Yes, yes, I have two bones. Jorge. Yes. I, I broke a teeth. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's change the question. Ronnie Caballero, have you ever broken a, a tooth? Ya se ha quebrado. Yes. Yes. Yes, I I have. Yes, I have. Tell me about it. Um when when I was a teenager, I I was running. Uh huh. And, mm -hmm. and the street is the street was with, with was with water. How do you say liso? Uh, water. Yo iba a decir mojada. No sé cómo se dice. Uh, ah, wet, wet flow. Wet, 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 wet no. flow. Street, the the street was wet. Uh -huh. And I how do you say deslice? I sleep. I fall down. Or I, I fell. Porque sería en pasado. I, I fell down. Fell down. I fell down. Mm -hmm. and, and broke my teeth. Your tooth, porque fue uno. Tooth, yes. Tooth. Serían todos, el plural, es un plural irregular. Ah, and yes. tooth, that would be just one. Uh, just one. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, si se fijaron, guys, Ronnie me contestó con, yes, I have. Y luego me empezó a contar de la experiencia. Ahí es el donde pasado. Es el pasado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tienen una pregunta de cómo ocuparlo. Obviamente hay que darnos en los dientes. No como usted, Ronnie, por eso ¿eh? Sí. <risa> Practicar. Right? So, what we're going to do is the following, guys. We have 25 minutes to practice. 25. 25. So, I'm going to open up the, the, the break rooms. And I want you to choose a question. I'm going to send this to your... I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to be sending this to the WhatsApp so you can have access to the questions. Yes. And on those questions, you can choose the question. Pueden compartir el link y se escogen, pueden escoger las preguntas y se están haciendo preguntas entre ustedes, ¿ok? No escojan las picaronas. O ahí yeah. ustedes. All right? So, I'm going to be sharing the, the link. In just a second, I'm going to share it here. Where are you, chat? Where are you? 
Oh, here it is. Thank you very much. Good job. In my house, it's raining cats and dogs. I'm sorry to hear that. Good idiom. All right. So there it is. There you have the questions. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group too. And I will be opening the, the break rooms. Do you have any questions, guys, on what to do? Tienen alguna pregunta en qué hacer? Muchas preguntas. Muchas preguntas. Muchas preguntas. Muchas preguntas. Yes. Ahí está. Have you ever been? Have you ever broken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Very good. Antes que nos pasemos. Conversation. Antes que nos pasemos, guys. El inglés es un poquito más sencillo de lo que, de lo que pensamos, all right? I'm sorry about speaking in Spanish too much. Lo, lamento hablar mucho en español. Pero necesito que lleguemos a un punto en que ya sea más mecánico. Have you y el verbo en pasado participio. Have you ever, have you ever. La estructura será la misma, pero tenemos que aprendernos qué. Verbos. 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 Mm -hmm. Past yeah. participle. All right, so let me go ahead and open the rooms and I'm going to be visiting you there. All right, there we go. I'm going to open three rooms. There it is. Please accept the invite. Okay. All right, so people is accepting the invite and I'm gonna start checking on the groups. There we go. Um, well, uh, uh, Sonia. Hola. Veamos. Have you ever called your boyfriend um, by the wrong name? Oh. Y así me... Oh, vamos a ver. How would you ever call your boyfriend, boyfriend uh, the wrong name? Wrong name. <laughs> Dios mío. Uh -huh. what, is, what is wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Eh, por ejemplo, se llama Juan y le dijiste José. <laughs> ah. No. Eh, no, I have. No, I haven't. Ah, no, I haven't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Okay, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> next, okay. next, next. Ask okay. the next question. Okay. Um, have you ever broken up with some, some, someone? Someone? Have you ever so, broken up with someone? Have you ever broken, broken up with someone? Uh huh. Who? Para quién va la pregunta? Para uh, quién? Okay. Chusa víctima. <laughs> Yesenia. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> yes, I I have many times. Okay. Uh, Tell us about it. I have uh, many times. I don't remember who, but I I have broken with my Ex boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> How do you say yo corté con él? I broke him. Lo quebró, uy. Cut. <laughs> 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 I cut. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 too much. No. So I broke I broke up with him. Uh, broke. Mm -hmm. broke broke out. Up. Broke out. Up. Broke up. Broke, uh, broke up. up. Mm -hmm. I broke, broke up. up with him. 
ahí es donde empezamos a conjugar los verbos broken para pasado para present perfect uh -huh. y el broke para pasado for past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. So, continue, the next one. Um, es que no veo quiénes están, solo me, me dio vía Sonia. Xiomara también, ¿verdad? Sí, aquí estoy. Xiomara, okay. <laughs> uh, have you ever been in a, in a first fly? Fist. Is this first? No. Fist? Yes, fist fly. Fist is uh -huh. good. This is the fist. So, have you ever been in a fist fight? Ah, golpes. Como pelea de... Pelea de uh, fist, oh, my God. Fist, <laughs> a fist es puño. Uh -huh. Fight, pelea. Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, have you ever been in a fist fight? Uh -huh. No, I haven't. <laughs> Because I be a... Uh, ¿Cómo sería que sea una persona tranquila? Uh, mm -hmm. Quiet person? Pacific? No. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, am a, I am. I am a quiet person. I am a quiet person. Mm -hmm. I am very relaxed or easy going. Mm -hmm. mm, easy I am going. very relaxed or easy going. Como bien al suave. Ah, all right. <laughs> next, next. Let's go with the next question. Next big team. Um, have you ever been on TV, Sonia? Um, <clears throat> we also have Janira, ahí escondidita. Been <laughs> TV. All right, ya está. Yes, 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 I, yes, I have. There you go. Okay. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Tell us more about the experience. Um, my, okay, I experienced in the program fin de semana. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <I'm> famous. <laughs> the famous. The five minutes. In my job. In my. In my juventud, como in my youth, youth, youth. <laughs> in my youth, um, I, I going, no, mm. sería, I got, no, I, uh, come on, you can do it, Sonia, you can do it. Okay, I, estuve, I was, I was in the program the fin de semana in my youth. In my youth. In, in my youth. In, in, in college. In, in the college. Okay. The college. Very good. Fantastic. Ahí vamos. Very yes. good. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and check another group. You're doing good. And continue with the questions, please. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, Marcat. Okay. Next. Okay. 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 Uh, Roxana. Tell me. Okay. Have you ever, have you ever gone to Multiplaza? Yes, I have. Visit Multiplaza. Yes, I have. And then you can say, I visited Multiplaza. Uh, I pass. Exactly. Uh, okay, I visited Multiplaza. Uh -huh. okay. When? Y ahí es donde tú puedes ocupar el, el simple past. Okay, contestas en, past, en present perfect, I'm sorry, para hablar de tu experiencia, que sí la has tenido, y luego si tú quieres das, dar más información, puedes ocupar el simple past. Fui a Multiplaza hace dos días, la semana pasada, fui a comprar, fui al super en Multiplaza, etc. Let's give it a try. Try it again, please. 
Inténtelo de nuevo. Ok, yes, I had this with eh, multiplaza because no sé cómo se dice to buy a book in the library. Ok, so library, that will be library. Library. Uh, library. Library. Mm -hmm. So you can say, yes, I have. I went to Multiplaza to buy a book. Fui a Multiplaza. I went to Multiplaza to buy a book. Buy a book. All right, good job. Continue, Thank guys. You. Okay. Okay. Jorge, have you ever baked bread? Baker? Baked bread. Baked. 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 There you baked. go. No, Jorge. Yeah. Baked. Baked bread. Eh, yeah. uh -huh. eh, no, no, I haven't eh, because eh, I don't cook things or I don't cook in my house. Only my wife, my wife, she has prepared some of good bread. Okay, only my wife cooks in third person. My wife uh -huh, cooks. Uh -huh. Uh, All right. It's good, good bread. Which one? Uh, quesadilla. I'm I'm sorry. I can I can barely hear you. So okay. I'm having a phone. My, okay. My uh, I don't bake because uh, my wife cooks. Mm -hmm. It's good bread. Oh, sweet bread, pan dulce. Uh -huh. pan dulce. Uh -huh. en, en quesadillas too. <laughs> okay, fantastic. <laughs> quesadillas <laughs> is quesadillas, but then sweet <laughs> bread is actually pastry. 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 Mm -hmm. pastry. I, I wrote it down on the chat. It's pastry. Eso es pan dulce. Pastry. Mm -hmm. Pastry. Mm -hmm. All right, continue, guys. Pastry. 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 Y repostería, ¿cómo se? Es lo mismo. Should be, let me double check. Should be the same. Debería ser lo mismo, but let me make sure. Yeah, pastries. Pastries. Good pastries. Bakery, desserts. Estamos bien con pastries. All right, continue, guys. Okay, Jorge Lemus. Okay. Have you ever catch on the on an exam? Cheated. Cheat, uh, cheated. On the exam? Have you ever cheated on an exam? Yeah. Yes, I have. Always. Every day. No. No sirvo para eso. Me pongo nervioso. Se pone rojito. I get nervous. You can say, I get nervous. Have you not ever? <laughs> Cheating on exam? <laughs> oh, pues sí. <laughs> All right, Jorge. Um, answer in simple past. Conteste en pasado simple para hablar de una vez que copió en el examen. No me diga ayer, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I have. Uh -huh. uh, I cheated once a time. I, I cheated. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo fue la última well, vez que copió un examen? Uh, once. Uh, was uh, a Ten years. Ok. Uh, yeah, mucho más. <laughs> very much. Very este, much. I cheated several times. Por ejemplo. Several. Ok. All right. Very good. Ahí vamos. Good job, Jorge. <laughs> I several. Several I cheated times. ten years several ago. Ten years ago. <laughs> ten years ago. Yes. All right, continue, guys. Let me check on another group. Hey, Ronnie, okay. ¿cómo, ¿cómo se escribe cheater? Cheater. Ahí está, ahí está en la, en la, en la, like en la hoja. ¿En cuál de toda aquella altura? Cheater. Uh, that would be cheater. Cheater. Es como cheater. Es Have como you cheater. ever? Ajá, se escribe cheater. Ajá. Cheater. 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 Che
So there you have the pa the, the base form and the past tense. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's check on, on the other. Share around. En la listita yeah. de preguntas mm -hmm. está. Yes. Okay. Cheat it. Bye. Have you ever milked the cow? Mm -hmm. Hey, teacher. Hey, mm -hmm. what's up? What's up? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have too. I milked a cow like three years ago. Three years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I milked, milked a cow three years ago. Hey, what's up with the rest, guys? Come on, participate. Carlos, Laura. Hello. Yes, uh, we have a question about the... Uh, the, the last question. The last question. Have you ever asked a woman when she was due and she wasn't even pregnant? Uh, let me check. The last... One. The last one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. Do is like the limit, or when uh, is scheduled. For example, hoy es 31. Mucha gente tiene que pagar hoy. Hoy es el último día para pagar. So the 31st is the due date. All right. So. Have you ever asked a woman when she was due and she wasn't pregnant? ¿Alguna vez le has preguntado a una mujer cuándo va a dar a luz y no estaba embarazada? Ah. Solo estaba un poquito pachoncita. Sí. Was due. So due. When she, yeah. have, you asked, have you ever asked a woman when she was due and she wasn't even pregnant? Ah, sí. No le entendíamos. Uh, All right, continue, continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, pues. uh, have you ever been on the radio or television? Good. Radio, good question. Radio? Yeah. Radio? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. All right, more information. Do you come on? Uh, yes, I have. About five years ago, uh -huh. when we was promote, promoting uh, a CD. Okay, when we were yeah. from a metal band called Dismal Gale. Um, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> All right. We, we was promoting the CD. Yeah. We were. We were promoting. We were promoting. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Uh, wait. Have you ever called a woman sir or a man ma'am? <laughs> All right. Who's going to answer that question? <laughs> Me. <laughs> because the, 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 the grandma... The grandma of a girl that I had, she said to me one time, I, I, and and he's and he's a man or he's a woman. <laughs> and I turned in, I'm a man. <laughs> I have beard. <laughs> because she she saw me back, back in the back. He she saw me from behind. She saw me from behind. Uh, she saw me from behind. She saw me from behind. From behind. Yeah. <laughs> all right, very good, guys. I'm gonna go back to the to the main session. All right, see you in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, guys, so we are coming back. Questions, does anybody have a question? Anybody, questions about this topic? 
Is it difficult? Tal vez por los verbos. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very the, good. The structure, yeah, I got it. Uh -huh. But I, I, I need to practice with the verbs. Study the verbs. verbs. Yeah. Verbs and vocabulary. And vocabulary. Vocabulary, yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah. Right. All right, I, so let me see. Ronnie, you're number two. Ronnie, give me a number. One to ten, please. Ten. Ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sonia, can you hear me? Um, <clears throat> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. So say thank you to Ronnie because Ronnie, I'm kidding. Queríamos escuchar la voz, nunca le hemos oído. <laughs> no, ya, ya me han escuchado lo que pasa. Ahorita ando una voz así bien de gripe, ¿verdad? All right, all right. Pero ahí estamos. Right, all right. Sonia, <laughs> could you please yes. explain to us when to use present perfect? Um, is a leader difficult at the moment the, the path with a present participle? Is is un confuser in the moment, in in this moment. Okay, all right. <laughs> so you are confused on when to use it. Está confundida en cuándo ocuparlo. Yes. Eh, hay momentos que sí me, me confundo. <laughs> okay. Exactly. All right, very good. Don't worry about it. It's normal. Now, Sonia, give me a number, one to ten. No estoy contando, no haga trampa. What? No estoy contando. Dime el nombre, de 1 al 10. Um, Xiomara. Ok. <laughs> What a name. <laughs> What a name is fine. <laughs> Go ahead. No. Xiomara, when do we use present perfect? When we use perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect. Ajá. ¿Cómo, lo, ¿Cómo usarlo? Ajá. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo usarlo? Eh, person perfect is... No sé cómo decirlo. Se, so, it's just one es word. Perfecto. Solo es una palabra y empieza con X. Eso que tanto duele, ese que tanto duele Ajá. o tanto alegra. Experience. Experience, experience. for experience. Ah, uh, aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. uh -huh. There you go. An experience. Use, use in experience. Experience. All right. Very good. And uh, before I let you go, I got Jorge right next to Sonia. Jorge, when do we use simple past? Which one? Which Jorge? Mendoza or Lemus? Mendoza. Okay. Uh, when I a specific time when uh, exactly when we use specific time all right guys so para cerrarlo les comento que el grupo está siempre abierto el grupo de whatsapp se pueden hacer preguntas ahí también me pueden escribir a veces me tardo un poco pero siempre apoyémonos ok el lunes necesito que hagan el knowledge check ya listo para el lunes y que el lunes me bombardeen con preguntas ok porque solo así, okay. solo metiéndonos en la práctica, vamos a saber cómo ocuparlo. As a recap, guys, we use present perfect for experience. And we use simple past to talk about when one particular experience happened. All right? Present perfect, experiencia. Okay. Simple past, definite time. In simple past, podemos decir cuándo pasó uno en particular. All right? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. yes. Yes. All right, guys. Hoy sí teacher, llegamos. Teacher, uh -huh. the, the, the next week is the last one. Yes. Yes. For this module. Oh, para sí. este módulo. No, I don't know if there's going to be another one after this. No sé si va a haber otro. All right, pero sí. No sé si, bueno. Is the next no, me man, no han mandado papeles, pero correo ni nada uh -huh. como antes. Pero mm -hmm. no sé si era solo yo. <laughs> No, no mandaron un correo ahora de que no habían mandado ahora mandar un correo que tenemos que tener el 80% para poder continuar con el siguiente módulo. All right. 
No me cayó. No me cayó. I don't see you. I'm gonna oh, solo a mí. Ignora. Fui ignorado. <risa> no, no, no quizás no me amenaza fue entonces la mía. <risa> ya, ya no nos no, quieren no, a nosotros. Um, acuérdense que se tiene que ir no. el progreso, ¿ok? Tiene que ir trabajando en la plataforma y no solo de Zoni, pásamelas, pásamelas después, ¿verdad? Es cuestión de aprender, <risa> practiquen, sé que es difícil. <risa> Sorry, ya <no. risa> Sé que es difícil, así que... I try to help. <risa> eh, una pregunta, el examen, eh, ¿cómo va a ser? O sea, porque tenemos que, me imagino, hacer un examen. Ahí estuve viendo yo como en el módulo, adelantando, y llegué hasta donde estaba el examen. Exacto. All right, ese vamos a tener lo que hacer individual y voy a ver si les puedo ayudar. Los temas gramaticales terminan el martes. Okay. Martes. Miércoles martes. sería que ustedes me bombardeen con preguntas, guys. Eh, jueves también, quizás un, unos 20 minutos y luego tratar de ayudarles a hacer el examen. Pero sí, la única manera que ustedes van a aprender es que trate, se tiren al lodo literalmente, practiquen, vean qué es lo que no entienden para poderlo atacar. All right? si se conectan, y sería todo, ¿verdad? Desde la unidad 1 para practicar también. No, creo que es... O oh, bueno, déjenme revisarlo porque la verdad no lo he chequeado. No, prácticamente es lo último. Eh, hay un audio que te dice que tienes que elegir la respuesta correcta, te describe qué carga la persona, a la parte de quién está, si está sentado, está parado. Eh, es lo Ay, último, igual como el curso, los cursos pasados. Uh -huh. Solo que, I'm not sure, no estoy tan seguro si viene nada más de la última parte o si viene... De la unidad 5. Uh -huh. So, me comprometo a revisarlo. La verdad, el examen no... Ya vi que tiene un listening, pero yo no lo he hecho. Generalmente yo hago, hago también el progreso en mi, en mi sistema. Para yo no ver... lo he querido hacer porque no sé si eso también ya, ya está contando desde el momento en que lo hacemos. Nah, don't worry, yeah. we can do that on yeah, problem, no, 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 no. Wednesday or Tuesday. Okay? So in the meantime, guys, have a very good weekend, but make sure you study. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. On Monday, you ask me. See you on Monday. Monday. Right? Okay. Alrighty, guys, on behalf of Inglés Corporal, okay. my name is Alejandro Morgona. Have a good night. See you Monday. Good night. Good, good night. night. See you Monday, too. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.